especially to all grade 9 students. So our first lesson in grade 9 mathematics is about illustrations of quadratic equations. So how to illustrate quadratic equations? Okay, but first and foremost, let us learn about the definition of quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So that is the standard form. Where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. ax squared is the quadratic term. Bx is the linear term, and C is the constant term in our given equations. Example number one, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. It's a quadratic equation in the standard form with A is equal to 2, B is equal to 5, and C is equal to negative 3. Okay, uh, in our first example, Note, uh, this uh, form is already written in a standard form. So as you learn, how can we determine that an equation is written in a standard form? So look at this. From the power of x, from the degree 2, for a second degree, first degree, and there's no x to the third term. It's decreasing. Okay, so write the bigger uh, uh, degree term, so 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. And our a here is the numerical coefficient of x squared, or in short, a number to the left of x squared is our a. And then our b is the numerical coefficient of x, and c is our constant term. Okay, so our a here is 2, so that is 2, and our b is 5, and C is negative 3. Example number 2, the given is 3x multiplied by the quantity x minus 2 is equal to 10. It's a quadratic equation, however, it is not written in standard form. So how to do this journey? So let's try to do. So the rule is to write this equation in standard form, expand the product and make one side of equation zero as shown in the next slide. Okay, here is our given. So 3x times the quantity x minus 2 is equal to 10. So what are we going to do? If we have a quantity, then multiply by one of the term. So we're going to multiply this one by one or distribute it. So 3x multiply by x and then 3x multiply by negative 2. Okay, let's start now. What is the product of 3x times x? The product is 3x squared. And then what is the product of 3x times negative 2? Okay, our product is negative 6x. Well, in order to make 0 for the right side of the equation, remember this is our equal symbol. So every uh, statement to the left side, and then we have a statement to the right side or any expression so we're going to make this zero because in standard form our right side of the equation is zero so how to make it zero uh, we're going to write negative 10 here and also add negative 10 here why because negative 10 is the inverse or additive inverse of 10 Again, the inverse of 10 is negative 10. So add to the left and the right side. So let's add first to the left side of the equation. After adding the additive inverse of the number to the right, second is subtract. So if this is negative 10, so 10 minus 10 is 0. Or in short, I will tell you how to do this by transposing 10 to the left side. Every time you transpose the number to the left, the sign will be changed from 10 to negative 10. And this will be equal to 0. Now we are there in the standard form. Okay. Standard form. So our A here is what? 3. And our B is negative 6, the coefficient of x. And our C is negative 
10 our constant. So I hope it's easy to understand. So what to do is to simplify. Maybe you're going to tell me, sir, this is not a quadratic equation because there's no degree 2. Yes, there's no degree 2 because it is not yet ano, a simplify. But when you simplify this, look, nagkaroon siya ng squared on. So 3x squared. So we're already there in the quadratic equation. And it's already transpose, transformed into standard form. Example number 3, the equation quantity 2x plus 5 multiplied by quantity x minus 1 is equal to negative 6. Can be written in standard form by expanding the product and making one side of the equation 0 as shown next. Okay, how can we write this into standard form? Uh, notice that the given is a binomial multiplied by another binomial. So recall your previous lesson in... Okay, let's proceed to the given. The given is 2x plus 5 quantity times the quantity x minus 1 is equal to negative 6. Okay, we're going to multiply this term by term or using the point method. Remember the point method in your grade 8 algebra. So our uh, outer term here, outer term is 2x and negative 1. It's our outer term. And our inner term are 5 and x. So inner. So inside, so imagine a burger. So our pat, our patty is two x and negative one. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, the bread is two x and negative one, and our patty is five x. So this is the outer, and then this is the inner. This is the first term, and this is the first term of the second factor. This is the last term of the first factor, and this is the last term of the first factor. So to avoid confusion. I will guide you. So let's start multiplying 2x by x, or first term to first term. I mean first term by first term. So next is 2x times negative 1, followed by 5 times x, and then 5 times negative 1. That is how to multiply using FOIL method. So let's start now. So 2x times x, the product is 2x squared. And then the product of 2x multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2x. Go to the second term, 5 multiplied by x, we have positive 5x. And then 5 multiplied by negative 1, we have negative 5. And then to eliminate negative 6 here, because our main target is to make 0 to the right side, of the equation, so we're going to add the additive inverse of negative. Our main target is to make zero to the right side of the equation, so we're going to add the additive inverse of negative six. So what is the, uh, the additive inverse of negative six? That is positive six, and we're going to write here in the left side, okay, plus six, and there's no number to the right because we already transpose or if we add additive inverse of a number to itself therefore the answer is zero. Why is there? Because negative 6 plus positive 6 is equal to zero. Okay, you are not there in the standard form because there are so, so many terms in the left side of the equation. So let's notice that these two can be Combined, they are the same terms. I mean, they are same coefficient and then same constant. We're going to simplify. So there's no term to be combined to 2x squared. So simply write 2x squared. And then what is the sum or the result that we combine negative 2x plus 5x? The answer will be positive 3x. And then negative 5 plus 6, then the answer is positive 1 is equal to 0. Okay, we are there in the standard form. It's about time to find A, B, and C. What is our A in our given standard form? Our A is 2 because the coefficient of x squared is 2. And then our B is equal to 3. And our C is equal to 1. So we're already there. We got the values of A, B, and C according to this given. Thank you. Then the next is 
Okay, take note of this. When b is equal to 0 in the equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, it results to a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus c is equal to 0. So from here, the result will be ax squared plus c is equal to 0. Okay, that's the end of the first part of the lesson in quadratic equation. And please wait for the second part to be uploaded on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and watch Sir Ernest's video. Thank you so much to everyone.